I want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports, and tonight we're going to talk about the Houston Texans settling with all 30 Deshaun Watson accusers. First, I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. We're going to read this article from Outkick, the Houston, Texas organization that reached a settlement agreement with all 30 of the women who have made or intended to make claims that will implicate the team as having played a role in former Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson's alleged sexual misconduct. Attorney Tony Brusby, representing all 30 women, confirmed the settlement on Friday through financial details were not disclosed and will remain confidential. In a statement released by attorney Busby said, in part, today all of the women who have made or intended to make claims against the Houston Texans organization have resolved their claims. The terms of the settlement to include the amount paid each are confidential. I will have no further comment on the allegations or the Texans alleged role other to say that there is a marked contrast in the way in which the Texans address the allegations and the way in which Watson's team has done so. As has been previously reported, only one of the 30 women who made the allegations against the Texans filed a formal lawsuit. That particular lawsuit will be dismissed with prejudice as soon as the appropriate settlement paperwork is complete. This is Tony Busby saying this on Friday. Friday, Tony Busby's statement announced that all 30 women, including the Sean Watson's accusers, who sued the team, had made or intended or making claims against them, have reached a confidential settlement with the NFL team. As Tony Busby stated, one woman previously filed a lawsuit against the Texans alleging knowledge of Watson's misconduct. The lawsuit was filed last Late last month, before Watson and his legal team were scheduled to meet with the NFL. Basically, the Texans, as quickly as possible, got this off their plate. Right before training camp, they will have to answer some serious questions, but they can go ahead and proceed with their season. And this is what rich people usually do. They pay the person off, it goes away right away. But Deshaun Watson still has a serious problem. He still has four accusers who still want to take him to civil court and have a trial. So either Deshaun is going to give them a large portion of that money he's getting from Houston, or they're going to go to trial and it's going to get nasty for Deshaun Watson. We know that Deshaun will have to, have to be under oath. He will have to say what really happened during these massages, that he got a happy ending. I didn't say it, his lawyer said it. So basically, Houston has said they are guilty. Basically, they have a confidentiality agreement. They won't talk about the issue. But the NFL seems to have some serious problems, man. You know, we got the Houston Texans. We got the Oakland Raiders with their problems out in, in Las Vegas. Excuse me. We have the Washington Redskins with Daniel Snyder. We have something down with New Orleans. I forgot that. I don't know how I forgot it's the running back. Down there, it just seemed like it's so much on Roger Goodell's plate. And Roger Goodell has to make the right decision when it comes to Deshaun Watson. Because I'm telling you, these woke women's groups, they're ready to pounce on the NFL. I'm talking about lay the smackdown on them and use them as an anvil for women's issues. So we'll see what Roger Goodell do, does. Will he basically put it out next Friday, the 22nd, right before everybody comes to training camp? We know training camp starts early for some rookies late on a Friday night because this is going to be a bombshell when it's released or what its suspension is going to be. Most people are talking about six to eight games. Some people want a whole season. They want all this resolved before he comes back. <sighs> this is terrible for the NFL. And the NFL is a league that just wants to talk about football. But it seems like 
they always have some huge off-field issues that Roger Goodell has to deal with. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.